What is going on everybody? We just found a Cherry 2006 Holiday Rambler Navigator that's got the 500 horsepower Cummins, only 49,000 miles and is in excellent condition. I haven't been able to find any paint checking on this coach. And those of you that know Holiday Rambler of this era, this is when they were owned by Monaco before they got bought by Rev Group and the quality was on another level for this vintage of motorhome. And I know a lot of you are looking for that 40 foot motorhome with the tag axles. And this coach is priced at $122,222. So a lot of overall value here. I'm really excited to show you this coach today. You can see the big Gerard awnings up top and this paint is in immaculate condition. Up front, we've got access to the diesel fuel. So you could fill your 150 gallon diesel fuel tank on both sides and you could put down a lot of miles with 150 gallons of diesel. And then this is a pre-DEF. A lot of people really like the 06s because that's before a lot of the emissions regulations. And then we've got that 10 kW generator running right now. Bay two is gonna be a full pass-through bay with the manual slide tray. It's extremely clean as well. This next bay is gonna be a full pass-through bay as well. And then there is a little entertainment area, a little TV that will pop out here. This bay is gonna house the holding tanks. You've got a 100 gallon fresh water, 56 gray and 56 black. And then it's got the aqua hot system as well. This paint is glowing. I love the burgundy gold, very rich, very classy paint job on this coach. I do see date coats of 2020 on the Michelin tires. I always like seeing Michelin tires on a pre-owned coach. It usually tells a story of an owner that really wanted the best for their coach. There's a look at your chassis batteries. And as soon as this coach gets checked in and goes through the PDI process. They will post all of that to the motorcoachstore.com where you can see date codes on the tires, batteries, build sheet. They really provide a lot of information on their website. And then we've got more chassis batteries back here. Beautiful styling on this rear end. Uh, it's got a 10,000 pound towing capacity, but check this beast out. That's gonna be the Cummins 500. Then here's a look at the plumbing bay. I love how they finish it out. Very high end, especially for 2006. You've got the outside water faucet, your power 50 amp cord reel, your power hose reel, your tank flush valves, fresh water fill, very simple tank level monitors. Everything you need is right here. And then here we have the other side of the full pass through bays and then the other side of the diesel fuel tank. And before we go in this coach, I want to point out just how clean the grab handle is here. You can see that Holiday Rambler badging in the grab handle really tells the story of a coach that was cared for with the condition of this paint and the exterior, even all the exterior plastics. When you look around of the window frames at how well everything is held up, even your code door entry right here, your doorbell, everything is in the wrapper. I would bet that this coach was stored indoors for the majority of its life for it to be in that good of condition. But let's go check out the inside. Coming inside of this coach, you can tell how well it's been cared for. We've got the ACs blowing nice and cool on a hot Florida day. And the first thing that really caught my eye is the condition of these carpets. Even in the entry doorway up there, the carpet was very high end and in excellent condition. And this passenger chair is huge. It's almost like a double wide passenger chair. I believe they called this a buddy chair. And you can see that cool pattern in the leather, very high-end material. I just gotta sit down to show you guys how big this is. I mean, a very large individual could be extremely comfortable in this chair. I mean, you could easily fit two of me in this chair. I don't think you're supposed to ever be riding with two people up front here, uh, but you definitely have plenty of room. If your dogs or animals wanna come cuddle with you, I think you can get away with that. Your control for the passenger shades here. So if you wanna keep the sun out of your eyes, that's easy. And then you also have a button for your step 
step cover here and you can see that's finished out in that very high-end carpet like we'll see in the coach in a moment. You do have a CV radio there. You do need and want to stay connected with the truckers out there. Very nice to have. Looks like there is an aftermarket Pioneer head unit, analog dash with a two-toned leather steering wheel with the cream and black. You have your engine brake high and low, your leveling controls, your gear selector. I believe this has the Allison 4000 transmission to go with that bigger 500 motor. And then you have your simple, you know, tag axle dump, your docking lights all easy to get to, and your windshield wiper, headlight, and cruise control settings right here on your steering wheel. This coach does have this front area that would be utilized as a desk. You can spin this dinette chair around over here and use this area as a workstation. You've got a little pull-out drawer here for your keyboard, lots of countertop space, a little spot to run cords through your countertop, nice deep filing drawer if you need, and I'll point out, this has got dovetail construction here on these drawers. It's just one of those little details that shows the quality in this coach, and that's something that you don't see in a lot of the newer motorhomes unless you get into that million dollar plus range. So for 122, 222, dovetail construction, 500 horsepower, 40 foot with a tag axle, a lot of equipment here. Then you've got your overhead cabinets, very high quality woodwork. You can see all of the detail work and the woodwork and that slide face. This dinette will pull out and extend. There is an extra extra leaf if you do have guests. And then you've got a nice couch here with a little bit of storage there below your couch. This is Villa Furniture and it will jackknife out here. This is very high-end leather too when you just feel the quality of this leather. It's in excellent condition. One or two people could comfortably sleep on that. And I like to point out the little details that Holiday Rambler did with the Navigator, like this solid surface piece below your window. And then the ceilings here. Not only does this look really nice, but it also keeps the noise down on those rooftop AC units that are blowing right now. And here in the galley, this will extend out if you want to get a little more countertop space. You have your KitchenAid stove there with this nice solid surface cover. And then your convection microwave, lots of storage in your kitchen. And this is nice how they bring that countertop here into the middle of the coach. They bring that tile backsplash around and then you have more storage up top here. Lots of storage below. Just so many little details, like you have these high-end sink covers uh, that will just fit flush here in this little spot. So if you're going down the road and you wanna store those away, nice to have that little spot for those. Below the sink, you've got a pull-out drawer for your trash can, more drawer space, again, that dovetail construction. Then a Maytag residential refrigerator and look at how much storage you have there above your refrigerator and then a little locking mechanism to keep this in place while it's going down the road as well as a locking mechanism for the pull-out freezer drawer. Now if you want to section off the back of the coach you can close the door right here but this coach does have a middle bath, nice radius shower, nice medicine cabinet, very clean. And then you have a separate room for your toilet, and this is very large. You've got a second sink in here, lots of medicine cabinet space. And when you open and close these medicine cabinets, you can really feel that quality, just another level that you don't see in production motorhomes anymore. And beautiful finishes, a little bit of storage uh, behind your toilet here, towel hanging bar. Coming into the bedroom back here, you still have a king size bed, even though this is only a 40 foot motorhome. Beautiful design work on the ceiling with the mirror and the leather inlay. Then you've got a huge closet along the back of the coach and there is extra dinette chairs and some extra televisions being stored in there currently right now. So I'm not sure where this coach is in the process, but some nice televisions are back here. And then you do have the combo washer and dryer and your breaker panels up top. And then a nice TV in your bedroom, as well as lots of drawer space. And you do have countertop space on both sides of the bed as well as more storage there. And everything is very clean in all of these cabinets. If you're in the market for a high quality 40 foot diesel motorhome with the tag axle, the Cummins 500, this 2006 Holiday Rambler only has 49,000 miles on it and is available here at the Motor Coach Store in Bradenton, Florida for $122,000. 
$222. Serious buyers can contact Bradley Twait. His information is available at themotorcoachstore.com. Thank you to all of you that are subscribing. We hope you're all having a great day.